Alright there, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a new Dynasty Warriors 3 character let's play. And this time we're going to take on Heating's request, the shoe officer Guan Yu. We start off with a very familiar mission, the Elturan Rebellion. We meet again. Uh, there's not really much else I can say about this cutscene. Seems to be a lot of devastation. Doesn't really seem to be uniting the nation. Just a lot of death and burning. Poor guys. So here's shoot. Brother, let's go. You've been staring at that sign for ten hours now. It's ridiculous. It's finally time. For we to show some competency? Yes. I don't think so, one guy. Here's way. In the background, a dust store. Ah, the rats are gathering. <laughs> don't be so hasty. Here they come again, the yellow turban. Bounty, wow, wow. So what can we say? It's the old Turban Rebellion for the third time. Nothing else that needs to be said. We know the drill. Tet Hejin and his friends. There's our shoe commander, Wu Bei. We're Swan. One of the three brothers. And you're probably wondering why he said brother in the opening cutscene there. And that's because Wu Bei, Shang Fei, and Guan Yu War an oath of brotherhood in the garden. Although they're not technically brothers, but it's one off of brotherhood, nevertheless. They will die on the same day. And we're on the east side. Soon John starts on the west side. And Cow Cow on the south. And we're up against this guy and his friends. Looks like we'll be dealing with Zhang Bao first this time. So, conditions. Defeat Zhang Zhao, protect Yi Jin. Yep. This time our weapon of choice is a halberd. Will give us a bit more range than the other two characters have given us thus far. Be interesting to see how this weapon develops. Now, item wise, we got a slight change in the ranks due to the Battle of Hei Fei. Our attack item was finally upgraded, so I think we'll use that. As well as defense and luck. The red her saddle. But I'm not sure what to go with it. We're not really going to need bow defense for this mission because the old turbans don't pack that many arches. So maybe something else could be of use. Hmm, bow attack, maybe... Maybe we could try out the bodyguard manual. See how that helps the bodyguards. Ah, what the heck, let's give it a spin. It's the nearest mission, we shouldn't have too many problems anyway. So what else fails, let's get rid of it. So let's see if it helps our privates man up a little bit. So, let's go! Here we are again. And I better get used to seeing a lot of familiar missions with Guan Yu, because... As Sang Jiao leads his followers into battle. Go! Ye children of the yellow turban! And 30 seconds later, he was clearing up the corpses of the castle turban. wall. So, as I was saying, we've better get used to seeing a lot of um, repetition with Guan Yu. But I'll explain why in a minute. In the meantime, let's check out his repertoire. Zahun Du. Our previous character is in the background. So, our charge attack. A nice big AOE clearance. No messing around with this guy. Combo one or attack one, whatever. A nice big punt into the air. A bit slow, but does its job. And we will. <laughs> Without we've run out of people, so we'll go over here. And we'll try out our second attack. Hmm. Stuns one opponent. Doesn't seem to have much range, but I bet that will hit multiples in a straight line if we had the chance, maybe? Oh, does have a bit of range. I don't think that was anywhere close to that guy. So let's check out our third attack here. Oh, that's an awfully, lovely clearance there. Love it. You flaming idiot! Take this! Run for cover! He's dropping boulders out of the sky! Oh no! Which will never actually do anything to harm you normally. <laughs> In fact, there's no one there. <laughs> Zhang Biao is kind of wasting his time. <laughs> Fool. That he is. 
seriously, he puts that, like, literally just outside the gate, but barely anyone comes out of the gate, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Anyway, this is his third attack, a nice big... Oh, and this is his Muzu. Spin, 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 spin. And that's pretty much it. Ah, damn it. We've been covering it up. So, brother Shang Fei leads us to battle. But yeah, there you go again, there's his third attack, and that's pretty much Guan Yu in a nutshell. You must dead up! Come on, buddy! You must die! Victory is mine! Pretty easy. So Guan Yu's pretty simple to use, really. There's not much complication about uh, Guan Yu whatsoever. He's basically got a huge range. His attacks all are sort of circular. Yeah, that's a bit damaged on the horse. And He's a bit slow, but he's very strong and always attacks of a large range. So he's pretty good for a beginner character, actually, really. I mean, against faster characters, he won't be able to get the hit in quite so much, but he's strong and ferocious and awesome. I just like him for the fact that he's got such a huge clearing potential. You know, like, so much range. It's nice to finally play someone with a bit of range and over attacks. They can, like, swing enemies to the left, swing enemies to the right. It means my combos won't get interrupted so damn much. In terms of if I want to hit a precise target, it might be a bit awkward, but whenever I ever need, we need to hit a target precisely in this game, except with arrows. As you can see, we've got so much attack with whittling down the health of these troopers as we head up the hill to deal with Zhang Bao. I think this is. Hold on a second. Feel the power of uh -oh. my magic! There's a little um, camp there, Zhang Bao. I think these are the only archers the old has ever used, to be honest. <laughs> Could be wrong, but I don't recall reminding any others. Oh, and here come the bonus. Swat. Bam! Look at that range, man. Charge attack range. Ridiculous. So Zhang Bao is using boulders against us. And you gotta be careful with these boulders. They do a lot of damage. They do damage the enemy troops as well, but you gotta be careful. But once you get up the hill, they're no longer a threat, so that's that. Just love it. Look at that range. Look at how many people my Muzu, that Muzu affected. That's how awesome his Muzu, that's how awesome Guan Yu is. Just spins around, clears everything. No fuss. Love it. After playing Zhang Hoon Dune and Hung Gai and having... Do not fear their magic. Go forward. Here's a hint for you. Try, try playing this with Sang Jiao and getting that cutscene. See what happens. So yeah, it's after, it's kind of nice after playing two guys with perhaps lacking a bit of range, Sahun Dun and Hun Gai. They're both pretty cool in their own way, but I prefer characters who have so much range like Guan Yu because it's ridiculously easy to play with. My others might be considered slightly more of a challenge, although every character has their own strengths and disadvantages, of course. I said one you was slow, but who really cares when he's anything nearby is just going to get knocked out the way? Even more so once he gets his weapon reach upgraded, because he's got an incredible reach with his range of his weapons. Not to be underestimated. So I really can't wait to see what we get with Guan Yu. It's going to be awesome. So a very good choice, Head Tang. I actually like Guan Yu. He's one of the characters I finished a game with back in the day. Definitely one of the characters I consider to be fun. Mostly because he's so cheap. Maybe. Uh oh. How can such as you hope to stand against me? Wait, he's on top of where we are? Well, that's weird. Oh no, and Zhang Jiao has come to join the battle. Him with our Muzu attack. Bam! Take that! Charge! Finisher! Oh, <laughs> Victory is mine. Just in time. I'll end your little rock slide, buddy. No more rocks on gates for you. Ah, let's see if we can ping one on the way out. <laughs> They're technically retreating, so we'll let them go, I guess. Oh, that's so unfair. We may can take his horse up here, but I can't take my horse. That's so ridiculous. Otherwise, I'd have brought Red Hill up here myself. So, <laughs> I guess Wu Bay's allowed, but I'm not. So, 
So now we've dealt with Zhang Bao, so I'm going to have to deal with Zhang Jiao next, and then they will go help out way a bit. So anyway, as I was saying earlier, I'm going to have to get used to seeing familiar missions with Guan Yu, because the first four missions, if I recall properly, with Guan Yu are exactly the same as Zahun Du. We'll be going to Hu Lao Gate after this, and then we'll be going to Guan Du, and then we'll be doing Guan Yu's Escape. <laughs> so... We we're putting him getting a sense of deja vu with uh, this campaign, for the most part. <laughs> Although the difference being is that obviously we're going to help one you escape instead of having to be captured by Zaghun Dune, so it's always a good thing. I'll just prove to you now. So, yeah, we got a sense of deja vu will... Nobody got it. Out the way. Uh, see, I can't ride my horse up there, so... Where's Sanjiao at? Actually, I'm not going to take care of Sang Jiao just yet. I'm going to go take care of Yan Zeng down here and close his gate off. Because, as we all know what happens when we take care of Sang Jiao the first and second time. But this might actually count as the second time. So I'm pretty sure if he teleports like that, I think he goes straight to the other side of the river. And then Zhang Liang will show up. So he's a Muzu here on this. Oh no. Oh. Looks like he can't wait either. Young sure can't wait to cast the uh, Breeze River spell. God damn it. Good job, buddy. Thank you, the Way God. He is out the pitcher. Just in time as well. Looks like Zhang Liang has accelerated the rate of battle a little bit. Which is fine. Should be okay for the moment. At least Sang Jiao's not inside the cattle causing chaos. Yes, there are enemy forces, but it's not Sang Jiao. We might actually be able to skip Sang Jiao for a bit and maybe go help with the castle instead. Now we've got a bit more mobility on our side with Red Hair. Let's speed things up a bit since we've played this mission twice. As you do. Alright then. So let's waste no time. Let's get over and help Wu next. Now that Zhang Liang's already performed his uh, river freezing, there's no real reason to keep him from death. Because if you kill Zhang Liang straight away, as you noticed last time, the river event is triggered. But if you leave him alone for a bit, I think it triggers either if Zhang Jiao is teleported twice, or seemingly on his own will. If you're unsure. Ah, so of course, somebody has to defeat Sang Jiao. Great. We must fight well. Now things are going to be awkward for a bit, because now we're going to get those reinforcements on the south as soon as he reappears on the North River. And Sang Jiao, funnily enough, gets defeated very quickly once you leave him alone, which you'll notice. So now we're endgame already. But we're going to be a lot quicker this time, so... We will see. I don't want to knock him outside, otherwise I'll lose my bonus. And I definitely want bonuses with one you, that's for sure. So yeah, get used to seeing a lot of the same missions with one you because that's the way it is. But we'll get some variety later on. Anyway, gate captain down. Let's take care of Zhang Liang. Try and keep Wu in the picture. Maybe for once all three forces won't die. That'd be nice. We're doing a lot more damage to Zhang Liang this time, I think, because of our item. And maybe partly because Guan Yu's got a very strong weapon to start with. So I say a combination of both, really. But nevertheless, Guan Yu's an interesting character. He, was, he did some quite epic deeds in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. And dodged that attack there. And let's go looking for... Let's go hunting. Hmm. Actually, let's go help... Um, enemy ambush. This. <laughs> but no one actually appeared. What? <laughs> That's strange. An enemy ambush party has appeared, but no red dots showed up on the map. That's very bizarre. I've got one wrong guy over here. Splat. <laughs> so, since this is kind of a repet since you all know how this mission goes anyway. You've put, some of you will have watched this three times now. 
maybe for some of you this is the first time, in which case, this is just what you know, this is my third time doing this mission. So I'm probably a little less enthusiastic about that. You know, it can get a bit boring doing the same missions over and over, obviously. Just get an owl into him. Bam! Whack! And up he goes. Bye bye, Zang Man So I'm going to rush this mission a bit. I'm not going to go after killing officers so much. Obviously, I want to get a bit of bonuses, but. Yeah, I might do that next time. We'll see. Besides, we have better items now, so we can slightly compensate for not killing as many officers and getting the drops by our items, which is good. Whereas before, we had to pretty much rely a lot more on the drops. Not saying we shouldn't pick up the drops, but yeah. So now, um, for some reason, I'm going to go over here and kill Heifei. I'm going to do things in a slightly odd order this time. For some reason. <laughs> just feel like mixing up a bit, just seeing if it can work. And so far everything's going good. Um Wei will now be free to help out with Shu and hopefully they'll go reinforce the castle. We can't hold them! Hopefully Hung Fu Song will hold out for a third time. He seems to get into trouble, Hung Fu Song. So <laughs> does pretty well holding out though, thankfully. And it's pretty much a dead indicator if he falls, then He Jin is in trouble. That's your big marker for this mission. If Hong Fu Song is actually defeated, he's like sort of the bodyguard of uh, He Jin. So you want to keep an eye on his status above anyone else. Get off, dude. Ah, whatever. I'm not so sure the bodyguard manual's working that well on these guys, actually. <laughs> Alright, so here's He Yi. Just knocked me off my horse. Getting away from the horse, otherwise the horse will block me. Going to Muzu, and it's just so easy to Muzu combo him as well because he just gets knocked into the air with the Muzu combo. Look at it, beautiful. That attack plus 17 is paying off big time. Love it. So that's Tei defeated. We must fight well. <coughs> so I think I'll take Curtis Gate Captain while here, and then we'll go help out the bulk of the army. Actually, I might try and do this in one recording. Like the first time I did a Let's Play it, that'd be nice. Because I'm doing this pretty quickly, but we'll see how time progresses. So let's just clobber more guys out of the picture. Ah, no you don't. What that Muzu, it's so good. It just clears everything. It's not like other Muzus where you have to worry about range. It's just BAM! Everything is getting cleared. <laughs> right, next, we will bypass... Sang Jiao and head for the next gate and then we will go into the castle and help out. Oh, one guy's doing well. Glad to see our former character is doing well for himself. Oh, we for oh damn, I nearly forgot about the life up. Might as well grab that while I'm here too since I know of its location. Remember this one last time? The life up location. So let's get that. Was it Muzu? No, it's life. Might need that for later. Never know. We've had a few close calls in the past. Things where I was dropping a little bit. So while I'm sort of going over here, um, I was wondering I'm trying to think of a topic to talk about, really. And I'm thinking this time we could talk about what would you consider to be your favourite Dynasty Warriors 3 character? In Dynasty Warriors 3, if you've ever played, oh, you know, just your favourite Dynasty Warriors character if you've never played 3. Perhaps you've played the later versions where you've had more characters pulled out of history. What? So let's just say, ah, what's your favourite Dynasty Warriors character then? That you've played, that you like for gameplay reasons or story reasons or whatnot? An invincible hero. I mean, what's your favourite character, you know? Do you like maybe Guan Yu? Because he's got an epic beard. Use epic in a silly term. There, I apologise. Maybe you like, maybe you like someone from Wu. Maybe you're a fan of the way, or maybe the other characters. Maybe you like Wu Boo, as you'd expect. I think Guan Yu's one of my favourites for playing, just because it's ridiculously easy to play with. So, how are we doing mission-wise? Mm. Uh, you know what? Screw it. This is going to be a one-part recording. I want to try it out again. I want to see if people are happy with a one-time upload. And this is going to be quite short anyway. Probably about 30 minutes tops if I 
Since I'm going to be quickly wiping out the forces. I don't see the point in doing a second part this time. So what's your favourites? I, 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 I think one you probably want to mine because he's so easy to play as. I just love his strong AoE attack. But to be fair, I've not played as that many characters in the past. I've played a fair few. Another one of my favourites is Gon Ning, and that's because of his Muzu attack, which I've only recently discovered, actually. I mean, after he did a number on me in um, Zahun Doom's campaign with um, his Muzu one time, I actually played him on my other card, and his Muzu is pretty darn awesome, making Gon Ning a real favourite of mine in these Warriors 3, and I really hope we'll be able to play as him someday. But... There's that who did again. <laughs> he keeps making cameo appearances. <laughs> so, trust me, when you see his Muzu, you will be. No, don't you dare steal my kill, Cow Cow. It's mine. Is I'm not going to steal it this much attack power at my back. No chance. It's a mob like Skittles. It's all too easy. Right. And that just leaves Sang Jiao. Let's wipe him out quickly. Other than that, I can't really think of any favourites. I'd obviously say Wu Boo, but Wu Boo's everyone's favourites. So I'm not, I don't say Wu Boo's my favourite. Really. He's alright. He's very strong, but you know, he's meant to be super powerful. Oh, here he is again. I shall punish all those who defy heaven's will. Yeah, yeah. I'm being you in, I'm being you in somewhat record time for a let's play, dude. You got no chance against me. I'm doing this in one take. What chance do you have? Okay, you still are pretty tough, but if you wait until I get you in my Muzu attack, I'm going to perish. So let me know what your favorite Dynasty Warriors characters are in the comments. You know, maybe you'd like to see them in a wet play in the future. I'm not going to keep my Muzu because he just like he is. I don't think he's going to hit me anyway, but you never know. Caroline's hopefully going to recover some health. Thanks to used to be occupied with something else. I'm going to fire a bow at him. Hmm, missed his cat there. So yeah, let me know what your favourite Dynasty Warriors character is. Maybe make a suggestion for me to play them next time, or maybe just tell me why you like them as well. You know, is it story reasons? Is it gameplay reasons? Jump over his head here. Give him any Or is it maybe? Or is it a combination of both? I see a big health over there. Ah well, Zhang Jiao's almost dead. Oh, true Muzu, I think he's got it. Hmm. There we go. Oh, my body may die. My spirit will live forever. Haha, <laughs> we wasted no time this time. And that's how easy the game can be if you're powered up, you have good items, and you know what you're doing. I wouldn't have been able to do that from the get-go, it would have taken a lot longer. But because we have Guan Yu, because we have good items now, we can plow through the early missions quite comfortably. At least this one anyway, it's pretty simple. So we took care of the gate captain on the right, took out Zhang Bao, let's see how many minutes it took us. Then Zhang Yang was quickly eliminated, and that gate captain. Then Zhang Liang was eliminated as... Zhang Men Cheng was eliminated <laughs> very quickly afterwards. And of course it also helps to have red hair. We took out the gate captain next to He Fi. He Yi, sorry. We went over here, took out the last gate captain for the turbans. Went inside the castle, very quickly dealt with Pei Wan Shou and Guan Hei. And then finally, Zhang Jiao. Aw, oh, not quite 15 minutes, but 17 minutes 48. Not too shabby, I suppose. Of course, the speed run for this is about a minute and a half, but. <laughs> Yeah, once you have red hair, your mobility goes up. It's even easier to do stuff. So let's see what weapons we got. Wow, Muzu Charge plus 5. Not too bad. That Muzu Charge basically means how quickly you charge up your attack. So every time you hit something, take a hit, or charge up, it speeds up the process. So, that's useful. Wasn't expecting an advanced weapon, so... Ooh, nice. An upgrade to our Muzu Max. Awesome. So then, let's see how many points he got. Ooh, we got a nice bonus, maybe for clearing it in good time as well. Another 1.7k, so 6,000 points. Let's see how that translates to his character. Oh. Right, 
14. Rank 14, good. Bodyguards are a bit more defense. Rank 13, that's good. Of course it is. Let's <laughs> see if we get one more. Since we got 6,000. Yep, bodyguards are a bit of wife and Muzu and Actually, the bodyguards survived this time. I don't know if it was that bodyguard manual really helped out or not, or whether it was because we were so quick they barely had anything to do, but they survived. Maybe we'll be using that item again. I don't think we'll check the rankings. So, save our game and see what's up next. Go on, game, surprise me. No, no surprises. It's who our gate. Again! <laughs> As expected. Alright, folks. Welp. So next time we'll be seeing Dong Zhuo and Wu Bu once more. Alright, so that was a fairly quick let's play with no part separation. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry if I don't sound as enthusiastic, but you know, I'm repeating a couple of missions. I'm, see I'm sure things will pick up after Hu Ao Gate when we play Guan Du and so forth, but you know. Anyway, leave a comment what you thought of this uh, let's play. I hope Heteng is happy. And yeah, let me know what your favorite character is. So I will catch you all next time when we will take on Dong Zhuo at Huao Gate again for the third time. See you later.